Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining the call. I'm going to get everybody muted. I'm going to ask the co-host to unmute yourself at your convenience. But hey, it's your boy Terrence Pounds back again. Another Tuesday, another Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do this twice a week. And then what happens here, folks, is that you can come out and you can find out about the latest and greatest in the DeFi space. Everything from crypto to Forex to arbitrage to copy trading to high-risk scams to long-term projects to trading and things you can do yourself to yield farming, you name it. You're going to get some of everything on this channel. But folks, I need to remind everybody that I am not a financial advisor Nobody you hear talk to is a financial advisor, but you need to realize that I am the YouTube dude, the clever content creator, and I splash in projects every day. Now, before you get into anything that I talk about on my channel, now, what is that? That's money, ministry, and motivation, passive income, 7,600 subscribers, almost 1,200 videos. And then, folks, here's the links to get to my personal Telegram channel to my TikTok, to my 5,000 member Telegram chat, to my website, crypto made easy with the Z.net, my announcement page, if you don't want to chat, my Facebook group with 8,000 members. And we have these live Zooms every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link is always the same. It's right here. And folks, I got over a half a million views. Thank you for each view. Thank you for each subscribe. Thank you for everybody listening. Now, folks, tonight I have the great honor and pleasure of introducing to you uh, somebody that's not a stranger to the channel, somebody that's not a stranger at all, somebody that's a real person. Now, that's no other than Eric Majors, which you can look him up at ericmajors.com. But I'm just going to let him have the floor, tell you all about himself and what he does so well across the space and what he's been doing for you. Eric, welcome back. Thank you for being with us again. And I'll let you do the introduction and all that stuff about you today, all right? <laughs> I appreciate it. No, that, that's a fine introduction, guys. Uh, I appreciate you, Terrence, and it's good to be with you guys. I'm going to keep coming on until I, I reach out to every person who uh, could possibly uh, take advantage of what it is that I'm trying to offer. I'm just looking for something here on the screen real quick find the chat ah there we go so guys um <clears throat> you know in the space that we deal in there's a lot of uh there's a lot of uh, programs out there when you don't know when they're going to come to an end or there's a lot of places you can put your money and you never get it back but the whole purpose of cryptocurrency is to enable you all to have uh sovereignty over your own money and uh, my background is i've been trading for over 30 years traded in every uh significant market it's actually 30 years, maybe longer than that, actually 35 years and been trading in every major market, uh, wrote software for a lot of funds, uh, spent most of my life chasing that uh, concept of auto, you know, having computers automatically trade for me and for funds and, and other people. So I've gotten the privilege of seeing under the hood of a lot of really interesting uh, projects at the institutional level. I used to be a registered investment advisor and a firm owner and an investment banker listed companies on the stock exchange. And um, I have some books out there on Amazon that talk about a variety of things from monetary policy to, excuse me, to, um, to trading. Uh, in fact, my book on trading has been around. I wrote it first in, in 1998 and revised it in 2005. And there's really no reason to revise it again. It's about the psychology of trading. Uh, it's an introduction to all the different markets. If you ever wanted to know, you know, how options work compared to futures and all that sort of stuff. And then the second half of the book is all about technical analysis. So um, the reason I'm speaking to you tonight is for the past just over two years now, I've been trading cryptocurrency liquidity pools. And the ease at which you can do this is, is something that anybody can do. And the returns on that I'm averaging are or that anybody can average really is about anywhere from 10 to 30% a month. And most of my career, I was unable to really help anybody um, because a lot of the stuff that, that with the exception of the times I listed some companies on the stock exchange and I can have people buy stock in there and made sure that they made some money. Um, 
all the trading stuff I did was either institutional trading or just, you know, uh, private money. So people couldn't get into that. So all my friends, as you can imagine, always ask me, Hey, will you trade for me? Will you trade for me? Can you teach me how to trade? Well, <laughs> I can't teach them how to program. I can't, you know, all the stuff that I traded was all automated. So it's not something that an ordinary person could just sit down and trade. Um, all the day trading I've ever done is just, it's just terrible. I mean, it's not fun to sit in front of a computer all day and trade. And I think everybody in this crowd wants to be able to just put their money somewhere and let it grow without them having to do any kind of trading. So the closest thing that you're going to get to that and still be able to have complete sovereignty over your own money, meaning that you're not giving it over to any third parties is liquidity pools. And it's not just like some second class thing. This is actually where most of the money is being made right now. There's about $58 billion worth of people that know about liquidity pools. Um, the only reason that other people, perhaps yourselves, are not in liquidity pools is because you're not, you don't know about them. You're not aware of them. And um, so I basically prepared a course that there's probably about two other guys out there that have decent courses <clears throat> on this, but they, they charge a lot of money, uh, 4,500 bucks and up uh, for giving you the same kind of content that I'm giving you. And um, it takes you a long time in their programs to get into your first pool because they're giving you a lot of information that you really don't need. So my goal with my course is to just get you up and running like within the first day, you know, to make it possible for you. Most of you already have some experience in being able to buy crypto. So if you can get cryptocurrency, then you can <clears throat> take my course and you could be up and running the same day and earning. Um Outside of that, I have a community within the course. I, I'm going to have, uh, I've just started now. I'm just starting as of March to have meetings every two weeks where I'll join in on a call. So when you uh, log into your, your back office in the course, you'll be able to see, um, you know, how to access those meetings. So I'm just going to show you a couple things here real quick to convince you that uh, I'm not uh, <laughs> just pulling your leg here. So, but first, let me show you this. If you log into the course, um, there's a quick start for people who don't know anything about, you know, cryptocurrency. So if you were starting off as a novice, it'd probably take you about, I think my, my wife and daughter to average time for people to get through this about two to three hours. And then by the time you get out of here, you got wallets set up, you got your account open at Kraken, you got all the important and, and a kind of an overview and understanding of, of that um, cryptocurrency. And then in about another well, less than the first hour, you could get into your first pool by by going through the the crypto course. So it's just done as a step by step thing that gives you um, videos on how to do it. Because even though there's a lot of people that know about cryptocurrency, you could research it for yourself. It's you know if you just had to research it for yourself, you you'd probably make a lot of mistakes, and um, it'd take you a while to get into pools and and really understand what's going on. So my goal is to just make it so that you can get into these things and make money as fast as possible. And again, we're going to have live meetings in the back office there. This link changes every week, um, but you can just log into your account, click on the link, and then you can join in a live meeting. So if you want to ask me questions directly, you can do that. There's an FAQ section here, and it tells you how to use the FAQ section, how to find things in there. And then there's support uh, for people who uh, join the course. You get the phone number and uh, you know, most of the time you, if you get through my secretary, I, I'll probably, probably me you're talking to um, for support in the beginning here right now. So what can you expect from this? Well, most of you guys are used to going over and um, trying to figure out, uh, I guess I didn't share my screen with you. That might help. So I've been talking about all this and I didn't share the screen. So here's the crypto quick start course. Here's the liquidity course. And um, like I said, it's just a step-by-step -step video. You just press the you know, button and watch the video. You just do it on your computer. It's not on a phone. It would be a lot very difficult to do it on a phone. But that's what the, how the course is, is set up. And then over here, you got, um, like I said, the live meetings every two, every, other, every two weeks. The uh, first and second or a third Wednesday of every month, I'll be on those live meetings. And then there's support where you click here, you can get the phone number and the email address. And um, we're also starting a telegram for support. So I've got a lot of people coming into the course. I've, I haven't had anybody that has um, 
give me any negative feedback on it. And um, again, I was just getting ready to show you. I'm going to be adding other courses in here, by the way. This isn't the only thing, place, a way that you can make money. Now, this is the way you can make 10 to 30% a month. But um, um, there are other things that I know about in the ecosystem of cryptocurrency that enable you to earn free gold, for example, um, and participate in some other MLM stuff that you guys might be familiar I mean with if you're if you're into reselling things to to a downline um, the next thing I want to show you here is um, what you can expect in terms of earnings okay so I have a position up right now and like I said most of you guys are probably used to just going somewhere learning how to deposit your cryptocurrency and then figure out how to withdraw and as your your uh you know returns get generated so going into pools at least the ones that i teach you about are quite simple and uh gotta figure out how to move this thing around here they're quite simple in the sense that you're, you're almost doing the same thing you just got to know and understand how to do it but you're entering into positions you have to learn how to and this is what i teach you in the course how to what to get into and what to trade and then how to withdraw the money that you're making Okay, so that's kind of what your panel would look like. How much money have I earned here? And and at any time, like any other, like unlike other programs, I can just withdraw at any time. And this, these systems are not some third-party systems that you have to depend on some people that you don't know who they are. This, you, these liquidity pools are a necessary uh, element of every major decentralized exchange that you guys use to swap currency out of your wallet every day. We're talking about a $58 billion worth of pool markets of smart people. Like I consider myself kind of somewhat smart who uh, simply know about the pools and they put their money in it. So it's kind of like you get an opportunity to get commissions from everybody else's trading is what's going on. Okay. And outside of that, you just got to know how to get into them, which ones to get. And I, I give you all that information. I tell you which ones. So um, <clears throat> I can show you here, for example, I'll just give you an idea of some of the returns. I always do screenshots of, you know, to keep track of what I'm doing here. But um, just over the course of, let me see if I can put the information up here. Okay. So on the 26th, um, I went ahead and went in into a new pool here that was on the 26th and off of $4,500, uh, I started off with 946 in earnings. And by the next day, by the end of the next day, I was up to $65 off of, you know, $4,500. So, I mean, you can do the math on that, but okay. On the net, by the next day, I was up to $80 off that $4,500. So, what it averages out to um, is about 15% a month. Um, and I don't have to keep checking on this every day if I don't want to. And there's ways I can trade this more aggressively, but um, you know, while I'm away on a vacation or a trip or something like that, I'm not, I'm not checking this stuff. Okay. Uh, I was gone for a week and I made 1.8% in five days. When I went to my son's wedding, I was gone for five days and I made 1.8%. So 1.8%. You know, I just set it up so it'll just, I don't have to check it while I'm gone. So that's kind of what it, it looks like. That's what I wanted to show you guys. I'm not making this up. Um, like I said, most people don't trade the pools because they don't know that the pools exist. And when they do find out they exist, uh, believe me, there's a lot of overhead and trying to figure out how to get into the pools. <laughs> a lot of opportunities for you to make mistakes. Um Greg, uh, one of the guys on here, he he bought the course, and I hope and I want to understand he's able to achieve the goals of getting into the pools quickly. But what he's going to benefit from next is I'm going to be introducing uh, over the next uh, couple months here different. Well, probably in the next two two weeks, I'm going to put some videos out. Craig, you're going to be happy to know that that show you some brand new automation tools that have just come out that enable you to. Uh, not only get into the pools, but track your positions automatically and also um, re-adjust uh, your your uh, 
I'm sorry, the range in which you're trading. So as it stands right now, um, I only check my pools for maybe 10 or 15 minutes a day. If that, if I'm gone, I don't check them at all. Uh, if I'm away or if I'm busy and the things just keep burning for me 27, you know, 24 seven. If you're trading cryptocurrency, like you buy it to hold it, you, you got to know about pools because you'd be a fool to buy, uh, you know, Bitcoin, for example, and just hold it because you think it's going to go up when you could take that very same Bitcoin and pop it, put it into a pool and also be earning fees from everybody else that's trading Bitcoin. So, um, it, it, once you get do it, it's it's simple. That's why I made the course. Um, I trade pools for other people who have a lot of money and they they don't even want to bother moving it in and out of the pools. Um, so if you wanted me to do that, I could I could do that for you. Um, so the gas fees earned. Somebody has some questions up here, and I'm just looking at them. So the gas fees earned by crypto transfer go to these liquidity pools. The gas fees go to um, when you do a transfer of your crypto from one wallet to another, you pay gas fees. Those gas fees go to the miners on the blockchains um, who have their computers attached. And, and because they are getting paid to keep a copy of the database um, that comprises the entire blockchain. So that's where those gas fees get paid to. The fees that I'm that I'm talking about are when you swap inside of your wallet. Okay, so if you trade, um, someone else asking a question up here, does that make the high fee pools like BTC and ETH the highest earners? Good question. Um, yeah, so for example, um, if you, what we call Bitcoin and, and Ethereum and then we call them blue chips, okay? There's, there's thousands of coins out there, right? Um, but everybody knows what BTC is. Everybody knows what Ethereum is. Everybody knows what uh, USDC is and USDT. Um, everybody knows what Polygon is or what they call Matic. You know, everybody knows what Solana is or Sol Arbitrum. Everybody knows what that is, um, you know, and uh, there's a few other ones out there. Those are what you'd call the blue chips, you know, the ones that everybody is getting into and out of. They're converting their USDC into those positions. And so um, when you're buying cryptocurrency, trading it from U.S. dollars to fiat currency, buying it on wherever you buy it from, Coinbase or, uh, you know, crypto.com or, uh, you know, I use Kraken or Binance or something like that. You send your fiat, you convert it to uh you convert it to uh, a crypto, and then if you're like me, you send it right out of that exchange into your crypto wallet, your your hot wallet, like MetaMask, or you know some of the Solana wallet would be like Soulflare or Tron Link wallet. I don't keep any of my crypto. I keep very little of my cryptocurrency inside the centralized exchanges because those could go down just like FTX or they could get, you know, the regulators could do something and pull the plug on it. All of a sudden your, your money could be locked up in there. I mean, I had a Binance account and I really liked a lot of the features of Binance, but even Binance, which was the biggest, one of the biggest firms, I'd have trouble occasionally withdrawing my, my crypto out of there or my funds, you know, and now you can't even do fiat if you're in the U S and Binance. So these are the kind of problems that we all have going in and out of crypto, but once you get your money into your, your crypto into your wallet, like MetaMask, if you want to swap for other coins from Meta, MetaMask, what you're doing at that point is MetaMask is going out and fetching quotes from all the different decentralized exchanges, all the different DEXs, decentralized exchanges. So what's a decentralized exchange? Well, it's an alternative to you having to keep your uh, cryptocurrency inside of Kraken or FTX in order to, to trade it, okay? Decentralized exchanges are automated trading platforms where people are not involved, programmers program it up, like Uniswap, PancakeSwap. Uh, you know, you may have heard of some of these things. Um, so uh, Orca, you know, all these different blockchains and, and different, uh, you know, Uniswap is probably the biggest one with the most liquidity in it. Um, so to facilitate trading between two wallets, okay, um, when you want to, what, what has to happen is, uh, you could imagine if, if I wanted to trade Bitcoin for, uh, Ethereum, 
Uh, I don't want to have to wait for somebody else in another wallet to, you know, have to press a button to, to uh, once I send them a Bitcoin to send me something back. So they came up with this concept on the DEX exchanges of automated market making, which means that you create pools for each pair that people might want to trade. And then, um, uh, so a pool would consist of, for example, wrapped Bitcoin and Ethereum, okay? And so if somebody wanted to trade Bitcoin for Ethereum on Uniswap, then uh, they would actually, their wallet would be uh, checking the price. Um, there would be a pool in there where people have deposited BTC and Ethereum. And who are those people that make that deposit? Well, that would be us. We're putting our money into a liquidity pool so that we can get commissions or fees, if you will, from the trading or the buying and selling of others. <laughs> so it's like owning, being a shareholder in an exchange. And I've known about this for years. I've written books on cryptocurrency, but to be honest with you, once they came up with the notion of concentrated liquidity, um, even I was shocked at, at how much money an ordinary person can make by simply depositing your uh, crypto that you would normally hold in your wallet if you're a speculator. Instead, just deposit it into the liquidity pools on the various exchanges. So there's a lot of exchanges, there's a lot of pools, and I'm going to tell you it's not trivial for the first time for you to, to put your money in there. It's not terribly easy, you know, in the sense that if you were to go out and try and figure it out for yourself, there's a lot of places you could really screw up. But if you take my course, you'll be in the first pool within a couple hours, okay? And then you'll have support. And then I'm giving you my picks of which pools I think are the best ones out there. And guess what? We have a community of people so you can share, you know, I'm not, I can't, I'm not all knowing and all seeing. And there's a lot of, of uh, information to sift through out there and a lot of different um, tools that I, I bring into the project. But hey, when we have a community of people, other people can say, hey, look at this pool. You know, I just had that happen today on, on one of the Telegram groups where I was presenting. And yeah, I mean, so I'm teaching you how to go find those those things too. And we can all share them within the groups of what people are are finding. So I hope that, um, you know, uh, answers some of the questions that were up there. I see uh, Armagus, uh does that make the high fee pools in BTC? So again, um, some of the pools that we, we want to look at are ones where we know that people are going to be trading a lot. We want pools where people, there's a lot of volume turning over, things like BTC, the USDC. Um, you know, usually whenever people go into these different blockchains, for example, Arbitrum or, um, you know, I don't know, whatever it may be, Solana, you know, they're, they're usually going in through uh, USDC or US, USDT. So you can always count on those um, pairs. Um, you can always count on those pairs to be uh, in the pools to be have high volumes and good returns. Okay. Outside of that, there's just some techniques that you have to learn that I show you in the course again to set your ranges so that you are earning. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some courses on some third-party art automated tools that have just come out that enable you to uh, to do all this that work for you but when I say work I mean I'm talking about you know 15 minutes of your time whenever you feel like doing it okay that's the work right so I mean you're going to spend at least 15 minutes trying to figure out how to get your money in and out of some other program you know and then you don't know how long that program is going to stay along um, you know, you, you know, so why even bother? You know, I'm not, I'm not saying why I bother. I know why people bother to do it. I've gambled in those things myself. But if you don't want to gamble and you want to have something that, you know, is solid that you can withdraw from at any time, your entire principal plus the fees that you earn, and you don't want to have to uh, worry about who is running this thing because, you know, Uniswap and PancakeSwap and all those things, they're huge organizations, okay? They're not, they're not going anywhere. There's no guys in there with their fingers pulling stuff out. It's all, it's all automated software. Any of them, most of the hacking that has ever been done on those exchanges, um, it's been done a long time ago. They're, they're tight. Most of them are solid and tight. And you're not gonna, you know, you haven't seen any hacking come out of those kind of places. So you don't have to worry about your money disappearing. You don't have to worry about who the people are. Um, and you're not holding it in any exchange. I mean, you're not holding it in any centralized exchange where the regulators can come in and grab it either, because they can't, they can't deal, you know, they can't regulate these pools. All right. 
I think that the pools are going to be around for the next uh, four to six years before they become obsolete. So you got to make your money in it now, you know, get your money in there now. And like I said, the only up time or difficult thing you're going to have is just getting into the first pool. Once you do that and you get a little experience, um, which I convey to you in the course, or I just literally telling you what to do. Um, then it's just how much more time do you want to spend on it? Cause you can basically just go out and live your life and um, you can set your range as wide if you want to. And then you don't ever have to check it. Um, I can tell you a couple stories about when I wanted to check my pools, but I was gone. I, I could go on trips, you know, two, three weeks. I don't, I don't look at it. It's still earning. I know it's earning. When I get back, I've made a bunch of money. I can withdraw it whenever I want, whenever I can get near a computer and um, send it to my wallet. And yeah. So unless anybody has any questions or comments, um, hang on just a second here. I want to uh, do something. But yeah, if anybody has any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and ask them now. And otherwise, I'll I'll be departing here in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, so again, I, the reason I, I charge for a course is because look, once you learn how to do this, I'm not making any money off of the, of the you going in and out of these pools, but you're making that money. Um, and the benefit of, of having the course again is that I'm giving you my picks. There's a community of people in there. We're sharing more information. There's more technology that come around these pools all the time. And if you don't want to have to keep up with that, uh, then you can just go ahead and um, and uh, um, join the course, right? Hey, Craig, you have a question? Yeah, hey, Eric, I've got a couple of questions for you. I'm glad I got on today because I, I, in my dashboard, I've only got the a liquidity pool thing up. Otherwise, my questions might have been answered in the FAQ thing. So I'll get, sure. get with you afterwards and check that out. Okay. But... Um, just, uh, just while I got you, um, is the reason why there's a bunch of, you know, for example, Sol USDT liquidity pools, there's maybe half a dozen of them in Orca, are they the different, uh, you know, like one's Uniswap and another one's PancakeSwap or something like that? Is that, that why there's so many no, in there? Um, no, the, if you look carefully at those, um, at those uh, tombstones there where it's showing the different you know, opportunities that are in there. Everything on Orca is, is on Orca. Okay. But the difference is that um, the fee rate, what they call the fee rate. Okay. So in other words, um, how to explain this. All right. Some people want to save money on the, when they swap their coins. Right. So, so, there are different, let me see if I can just pull it up here real quick. Um, show you what, I, I know what you're talking about. Um, but when you look at the tombstones, you'll notice that there is a, a uh, what I'm calling the tombstones, you'll notice that there is a, I'm just gonna quickly connect my wallet here. And my computer's running really slow because of Zoom, so I can't really pull this up. But anyway, what you'll notice is there's a number up there that shows the, the fee rate. And what that fee rate is, is um, you can trade uh, crypto or swap it on different fee rates. So in other words, you could pay 0 0.01 as a commission, or you could pay 0 0.05 as a commission. So why would someone want to pay 0 0.05 as opposed to 0 0.01? Well, it has to do with the, the speed of the trade the liquidity and it might just get a little bit better price out of it. So, so you'll see multiple USDCs and multiple soul, you know, pairs like you're talking about. And the only difference between them is the, um, well, there's a couple differences between them. You should look at them carefully and make sure you're getting into the ones that have uh, high total lock value, uh, total locked uh, volume. And you can look at the, well, it would be more convenient if I could just pull this up for you real quick. You want me to share my screen? No, I can, uh, I think I can get my computer to behave here. Let me just try it real quick. Okay, yes, it's working now. Just gotta connect my wallet so I can pull up the pools. 
and then I'll share my screen as soon as I get it up. Okay, so screen sharing. Share screen. All right, so I'm just sharing right now with you the um, the tombstones here. And what I'm, what I'm talking about is right up here at fee rate. See that's 0 0.01 and 0 0.05, okay? Um, yep. I don't know, can you see that? So that's the difference between these two pools. Now, the things I look at is 24-hour fees, how much fees are being generated between the two. I want to be in the one that's generating the most fees. But I also don't want to be in one and, and look at, the, but it's interesting because this one here is generating more fees, um, even though it's got less volume. This has 289 million in volume. But, you know, honestly, you can set the ranges on these things uh, and earn the same same amounts. You know how to set the ranges by now. So, so the only difference is the fee rate. That's the short answer. <laughs> okay. No worries. Yeah. And, and the other question is, um, why is uh, why are a lot of pairs uh, with USDC and not USDT? Is there any reason for that? Um, you know, there there are a lot of pairs with USDT, but I mean, it really just has to do with people can actually go in and on this exchange and create those pairs. Um, so it just has to do with the fact that um, the volume. Um, of people wanting to trade come into this uh, with USDC rather than USDT is just there's more people that want to do uh, USDC. So it's really just has to do with the market itself. You know, people can actually, you can actually go into to the uh, Orca exchange and create your own pool if you want to. But uh, most of the major pairs have already had pools created for them and, and fewer people are going to want to go into a pool with less volume than if there's one that already exists that has greater volume. So the answer to your question is just, you know, the market, there's more people wanting to come in with USDC for some reason. Okay. No worries. Cool. Yeah. It's good. Thanks. Cool. I'll be in yeah. touch. Well, hey, uh, while I got you on the phone, <laughs> uh, can you say something good about the course? What did you like about it? Oh, look, it's dead simple to do. Like, you know, I've been in crypto for a couple of years. So, you know, I didn't get the, the quick course thing because I only got the the actual um, uh, liquidity cool, pool course. And I thought, oh, well, that's cool. Anyway, I, I, I didn't even need anything out of the, the quick course because everything made sense. So, you know, I've got wallets and stuff set up. I've set up the Soulflare wallet you know, easily. And so, yeah, it's, it, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to figure this out. And, and, you know, I was done in, I don't know, three or four hours, as you say, and, and up and running. So, yeah, um, <laughs> it's just, it's bordering on unbelievable, <laughs> actually. Right. You know, I'm thinking, okay, this is like, should, you know, once everyone finds out about this, you know, there's, it's going to be, um, there's not going to be as much money for us, I, I don't think. So, yeah, like well, now's a really good time. Yeah, I think that there will be a, um, more money to more people trade it. And I'll tell you why, because everybody's got to go in and out and do the swaps. You know, they have to, we have to do it in order to get in and out of there. So the more people, and then the more people that start piling into the market, the more they're going to have, they're going to, more they're going to have to buy the currencies that they need, you know? So, but I think that where it's going to start to, uh, fizzle out is when they come up with new technology where they don't need to do the swapping. I think ultimately they're going to have platforms where wallets just talk directly to each other. But I think we're about four to six years out from that really becoming a problem for us. Um, and even the new exchanges where they're having more sophisticated DEX stuff happening, I've noticed that they still manage to incorporate the, uh, <laughs> the liquidity pools in there. Like they still manage to there always seems to be a reason that makes sense to have them in there, but I can envision in my mind, new technology that would not require any of those things. So mm. I appreciate your, your plug about the course and, and the experience that you're having and uh, hope to see you on those calls every couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So um, I, as I said, I haven't, the only, the only uh, course in my dashboard is the liquidity pool one. So, 
um, maybe jump in and have a look and sort of add the uh, FAQs and the the other uh, the meetings and stuff. Uh huh. That'd be good. Is that, is that not in your course? No, no, I've only got the one. Oh, the liquidity yeah, well. pool. Oh, yeah. I think I know why. Cause, uh, because and I, I didn't even know that that wasn't the case for everyone until I just saw your dashboard before with all the FAQ stuff and that. So okay, thinking, I'll, okay, yeah, I want I'll that. hook you up with that. But I think I know what the issue was. I think you may have just bought a version of the course that didn't have all that stuff in there. Um, when we were selling it for crypto, it was different because I remember you bought oh, it with right, crypto. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, but you know what? I'm gonna yeah. I'm, I'm gonna stick that stuff in your in your course. So I'll, I'll make you give it to you. Yep, sweet, cool. All right. And um, just just the other, one more thing. Um, did you say just before the goal you're going to be able to move the goalposts without pulling out and coming back in again? Is well, that what you meaning? What I'm saying is that um, with these automated tools, it will automatically um, put pull you in and your, it'll automatically control your positions going in and out. So in other words, um, um, if you come yeah. up against the side, if you go out of range, it'll reset it for you according to how you want it to be reset. If you want to automatically withdraw from a pool, these tools will automatically withdraw you from, from pools. Um, so it's extraordinarily powerful, right? Because then you never have to look at it. I mean, you can just, yeah. <laughs> you never have to look at it. You know, uh, it's, there's, in fact, there's even some, some strategies in those things that, are already programmed in that I was kind of surprised to see because um, I, I had only learned about some of those strategies from some pools that thought that they were proprietary techniques, <laughs> but they're actually built into this new platform. Um, so the, the one free platform, oh, you'll see it when, when we, when you, when I, I'll make sure you get a copy of that too. And, and uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Cool. Awesome. All right, we sir. Had, I think we had Armagus with a hand up as well, too. Armagus, let me ask you to unmute if you can, sir. Yep. Good. Got it. Um, with your background in A trading, B teaching, how familiar are you with um wealth three sixty five wealth charts, uh, and uh, opportunity to maybe uh, A uh, present there and maybe. Um, because there are people on, who on on their summits who actually sell courses on it, and that's something you could possibly take advantage of. Hmm. A three sixty. I'm not familiar with that. Wealth three sixty five. Oh, okay. I'll check into that. Thanks for the the tip. Uh, on let that. me let me um type it in for you. Okay. There. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, you know, as far as my background in trading, I mean, I've been trading for 35 years. I work for institutional investment firms developing software for their algorithms. Um, I've done, yep. I've done it all, man. I've, I've yeah. been in it. Yeah. Uh, that's actually that's the people in the, on there are actually part of that club too. Uh, you'll you, that be very uh, good contacts for you there. A lot Great. of good company. I appreciate that. Yeah. Do so you have right. any questions about liquidity pools? I'm just telling you, it's the easiest thing in the world, and you don't have to worry about them going down, going down or just having any rug pools or anything like that. Yeah, it's just um, with my finances paying even that six fifty for the course would probably break me, is unfortunately. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that, but um, whenever you're in a position to try it out, you know, you know where it's where you can get it, and um, okay. Okay. yeah. But I might be able to. I might be able to find. Uh, to um, bring someone to you, though, perhaps. Um, Much but... appreciated. Yeah, and then, of course, right. you might be able to share it with you, too. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right. Yo, so can, can I say something about the course? Am I not allowed to talk uh, about um, the course? I don't know, man. <laughs> Shoot, you know, <laughs> I, I bought the course, too, you know? <laughs> and... um. I love it. You know, um, you so know my personal experience, uh, no cap, straight up realness. Um, I took the course. I got in. I was up and going in four hours. 
And I just continuously been splashing money in. And then I remember I told Eric, I was like, man, I don't even feel like tracking this. I don't feel like doing that. But then today I found myself going back through the blockchain, pulling out how much Solano I sent one day, what it converted at. I find myself going back to pull the data because the reality is I'm making money. And, and I want to try to like quantify that in some way or another. Um, but I did want to just show like one of my accounts uh, that I set up and I haven't took anything in or put anything out, pulled anything out. Um, but you guys can see this, right? So I came in this account on February 23 at 12.47 a.m., account value was $4,345. So just in uh, not even six days, I've made 330 some odd dollars off of 4,600. And I have $42 sitting in my wallet. So just call it $4,700. When you take a look at um, that $4,700, I got to get my calculator out. So 4,700 divided by 4,345. Did I do that right? Yeah, I think I did. I'm, I made 8% this week. Is that correct? I made 8% this week, y'all. Like I made 8% this week <laughs> and the week's not over. That's six days. And that's that's one of mine that I just got wide range. I have had to go in it like once or twice because, you know, went out of range. But that took a couple seconds to get that back. But I made 8% this week. Thank you, Eric. And so I wouldn't know how to do this without having bought Eric's course for one. And that's just one of my accounts. But this that's the one that uh, I once I knew what I was doing. And I got another bigger account. And I'll be honest with you. Um, the, the, the benefit to buying Eric's courses, because everybody else that you see doing this, their communities, you got to pay like a hundred dollars every month to stay in the community. And so that's the point you're missing. They have a monthly subscription to stay in the community. And so when you buy Eric's course, not only do you get the course, but you get access to the community without a monthly subscription where that value surpasses anything and having access to Eric. So um, Eric did go on the, um, uh, go out of town for his son's, uh, wedding. And I'll be honest with you guys. I, I messed up some money in my first account. I'll be honest with you. Um, but if I would have, you know, reached out to Eric, I could have got the support, but I made some rookie mistakes and, you know, just doing things that I shouldn't have been doing and trying things. So you can mess up out here. And so that's why it's important not to just go jump in because you have seen something on the screen today. We're just trying to show you what's going on, but you'd be a fool to do it on your own when you can get started or 800 and what is it, Eric? What is the course price? 895 or is it 850? It's, it's, it's 850, somewhere. but but if you have your, use your discount code, use your link, and then it's yes. uh, something like th uh, 640 or something like that. Cool. So y'all heard it, off. folks. 850 or use my link. Or you don't like me, go straight to Eric and pay eight fifty. I don't care. Maybe he might even give you a discount if you sidestep me anyway. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't care. Get the course. <laughs> this is not about the referrals. This is not about you signing up on my link. This is about you learning how to take control of your finances uh, above and beyond anything I have ever seen in this space, especially if you are optimistic about the long term of crypto where I am. I'm I'm long on crypto. And you know, I've had crypto bags sitting and nothing else makes more sense. And I'll just be honest with you, like the rest of this space, every single day is making me sicker and sicker to my stomach. And and I know you guys are like, well, you're the one who keeps taking all these sponsored videos. You're right. Because besides that, it almost don't even make sense. So, so hear what I'm saying, right? Yes, I'm going to take a sponsored video when this scam platform pays me or that scam platform pays me, but they're all scams. <laughs> so when you get something real, which 
these liquidity pools are real. Those are real dollars in your hand, accessible, yield available to take. I mean, the other stuff just don't make a lot of sense to me anymore. And I can literally make a half a percent to a percent a day with very little work. So that's what you stand to gain by jumping in this course. And you don't need a lot of money to put into the liquidity pool. You can, once you learn what to do, you get started with a hundred bucks. You know, if that's what you want to do, you want to start with a hundred bucks, start with a hundred bucks. You can see it grow from a hundred bucks. But you've dumped thousands in these scams, thousands. Get the course, learn how to do it, have the full-time support from an expert. There's no better way to do it in my personal opinion. And then Rose, you asked, is the course sell pace? Yeah, it takes four hours. So you could take the course and be done in four hours. Craig, you got another question there, sir? No, I'm good. No, I'm, I'm all good, man. Yeah, what you've just said is is perfect. Okay. All righty. Armagus, you have another question, sir? No, I'm just waiting for my shot to uh, go through the programs and see who died. Okay, cool. We will we, we will get to the dead list here. Any other questions for Eric? Uh, liquidity pool. Any other questions about that whatsoever? All right, All right guys. Appreciate Thank you, Eric. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep coming back and preaching the, the new way. Yeah. Hey, listen, me too. Listen, y'all going to see me doing videos and y'all be like, y'all always see me do videos. And then my referral link is down in the bottom of the video. But now you're just going to see me talking about liquidity pools almost every single day, yelling it from the rooftop um, with no referral link drop. But just wake up and, well, and get put, with put it. The put, please put the course link. In there. <laughs> At least do I'll that. I need to put the course link in there. But look, guys, you know, <laughs> join my Telegram. Come over. We'll make sure that you get the information. Sign up for the course for sure, guaranteed. And and let's get the crypto. And then, so hold on. Somebody else dropped another question in here. No rug pull with this course, correct? No. So the money gets locked up in a smart contract. So when you get in liquidity pools, it's in a smart contract. Now, any smart contract can become vulnerable to hackers and scammers that want to break in. But... Uh, this particular one we're talking about today has been double audited on this chain. And these places are oh. pretty secure. You know, yeah, you pretty gotta, secure. You gotta, let me just address that for a minute, because what we're talking about here is these decentralized exchanges like Orca and all the ones that we're dealing with. They've been around for a long time. This isn't something new. It's just I'm sharing it with you now. So these are inst institutional grade um, stuff that without which the blockchain no one would be on it nobody would be buying cryptocurrency um so so we're talking about uniswap we're talking i mean maybe you guys have not heard about these things but these decentralized exchanges are mammoth okay they've been around for years and yes in the beginning days they got hacked okay but they're so necessary that not only did they fix the things that got hacked but they are almost bulletproof at this point because they've been through every kind of attack you can be through years ago so, uh, I mean, it's very rare that you're going to see any of these exchanges get attacked because they're, they're just not how they don't make their money by rug pulling people. They make their money by enabling people to swap currencies. And the fact that we get to benefit from that is just a, a side effect of what they need to do. In other words, without us depositing into those pools, you don't have an automated way for people to trade between their wallets. So these are necessary things that are more secure than than any of these uh, centralized exchanges that you can go on to, like FTX or Kraken. These things are robust. Hey, now, does do exchanges ever get hacked? Yes, they do. I was actually trading on an exchange called KyberSwap, and they have really great returns on their pools. But you no, know, lo and behold, I was in there when they got hacked. But you know what? They make so much money, and they're so important that they paid everybody back $58 million. Okay, And what we're talking about they we're talking about programmers who have programmed an exchange onto the blockchain that runs autonomously by itself where there's no human intervention other than the programmers who created it and they they get paid from some of the fees that that the exchanges generate and those they're deserving of those fees because you need those exchanges in order to swap so we're talking about big institutional stuff 
not some rug thing and guys, you know, must that. It's not that you can't get ripped off in, in cryptocurrency. There's a million ways people can attack your wallets and this sort of stuff, but it's not happening on you going in and out of pools. It's only happening when you don't know what you're doing and you, you maybe get an NFT from somewhere that someone locks up your whole wallet. You know, it's not happening from the exchanges. Okay. So just all, if you're, all you're doing is going in and out of pools, you're not going to be at risk at all. I mean, the risk of that is about as great as the NASDAQ stock exchange going down, you know. I just wanted to address that. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. Anybody, anything else for Eric? All right, sir. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we'll do it again next week sometime if you're available. I appreciate you. All right. God bless you, man. God bless you all. All righty, man. My, man. Peace.